everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about hypertonic, isotonic, and hypotonic solution. I'm also going to talk about what are the difference between these different kinds of solution and what happens to the cell when the cell is placed in these different kinds of solution. So now first, let's look at the, these different terms, hypertonic, isotonic, and hypotonic solution. Hyper, though the term hyper, it refers to more. Hyper, it refers to more. Iso, it refers to same. Okay, iso refers to same. Whereas hypo, it refers to less or low. Okay, so for now, only this, but later on, I'm going to explain in details. So whenever we are talking about the tonicity of the solution, the tonicity of the solution is a relative term where the property of the solution is defined relative to the other solution. Okay, whenever we are talking about hypertonic, isotonic and hypertonic solution, then we are actually comparing the tonicity of the solution relative to the other solution. The tonicity of the solution refers to the osmotic pressure of the solution or the concentration of the solute present in the solution. Okay, so let me explain to you with the help of figures. Let's say that solution B is a hypotonic solution. Okay, solution B is a hypotonic solution. How we are saying that solution B is hypotonic solution? Because we are comparing solution B with solution A. Okay, so what does it mean? So if solution B is hypotonic solution, that means the concentration of the solute present in solution B, the concentration of the solute present in solution B will be less. Okay, the concentration of the solute present in solution B will be less comparison to the concentration of the solute present in solution A. Okay, if we are, if we are saying that solution B is hypertonic solution, if we are saying solution B is hypertonic solution, that means that the concentration of the solute present in solution B is more. The concentration of the solute present in solution B is more comparison to the concentration of the solute present in solution A. If we are saying that solution B is an isotonic solution, okay, iso means same, isotonic solution, that means that the concentration of the solute present in solution B is equal to the concentration of the solute present in solution A. In biological terms, the solution of the comparison is the cytosolic fluid or the fluid present inside the cell. In biology terms, the, in the majority of the times, the solution of the comparison is the cytosolic, cytosolic fluid or the fluid present inside the cell. What, so what is isotonic solution? A solution would be called isotonic solution when it contains same concentration of solutes as the cytosol of the cell. A solution would be called isotonic solution when it contains same concentration or the amount of solutes as the cytosol of the cell. Then what happens to the cell when the cell is placed in isotonic solution? So okay, if the solution is isotonic, that means that the concentration of the solute present in this solution and the concentration of the solute present concentration of the solute present in the cell this is equal if the concentration is equal then there is no net movement of the water molecule okay no net movement of the water molecule so that means that they there is no change in the shape or the structure of the cell okay so this is isotonic solution then what is hypotonic solution? A solution would be called hypotonic solution when it contains less concentration of the solutes than the cytosol of the cell. When it contains less concentration of the solutes than the cytosol of the cell, then what happens when the cell is placed in hypotonic solution? When the cell is placed, placed in hypotonic solution, if this solution is hypotonic, okay? If the solution is hypotonic, that means the concentration of the solute present in this solution is less, okay? However, the concentration of the solute present in the cell, concentration of the solute present in the cell is more, the concentration of the solute inside the cell is more than the concentration of the solute outside the cell. That means to balance the concentration, so then where should water molecule go? Because here we have more concentration. 
However, here we have less concentration. That means to balance the concentration, the water molecules should go from, from the solution to the from the solution to the cell. Okay, the water molecules should go from the solution to the cell. If the water molecule go from the solution to the cell, so that here the concentration will be diluted, here the concentration becomes more strong, then ultimately it will be balanced. So then what it results when the water molecule go from the hypotonic solution to the cell, that results in the swelling of the cell. Okay, that results in the swelling of the cell. And when the cell swells too much, that ultimately results in the bursting or the lysis of the cell. Okay, so now let's talk about hypertonic solution. Hyper means more. Okay, so a solution would be called hypertonic solution when the concentration of the solutes present in the solution is higher than the cytosol of the cell. The concentration of the solutes present in the solution will be higher than the cytosol of the cell. Then what happens to the cell when the cell is placed in hypertonic solution? So when the cell is placed in hypertonic solution, what does it mean? It means that this solution has more concentration of the solute. Okay, Hypertonic solution has more concentration of the solute than the, the concentration of the solute present in the cell. That means the concentration of the solute present outside the cell is higher than the concentration of the solute present in the cell then what would happen the concentration of solute present in the cell is lower so he outside the concentration is higher so then to balance the concentration the only probability is that the the water molecule should move from the cell to the solution the water molecule should move from the cell to the solution okay why because if the water molecule move from from the solution to the cell the concentration of uh, this con concentration of this solution will be even much higher, okay? So that's why the possibility is water molecule should move from the cell to the solution so that the concentration across the membrane is balanced, both inside the cell and outside the cell is balanced. So then when water molecule moves from the cell to the hypertonic solution, what it results? It results in the shrinkage of the cell, okay? It results in the shrinkage of the cell.